Chief Henry Ojogo is the Executive Vice Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of Bruron Oil and Gas Limited. Bruron Oil and Gas is a company that was set up as far back as 2003 and commenced business fully in 2008. And since then we've been in business. We started with some partner, but as of today we are running alone. Our vision as a company is to become one of the world best brand company where we can meet up with major challenges. We are looking beyond Nigeria. In the years of doing this business, we've built a bridge across. we we'll work with people like Saudi Aramco. Our vision really, we're not looking at just Africa. Like I earlier mentioned, we've worked with Saudi Aramco. We, we work here in Nigeria with Total. We work for Mobile. What we call it work for others. We're actually the first local company to hook up a well in the deep water here in Nigeria. A work that is highly technical. It was put together by Boron, back to back, uh, where we mobilize everybody out of London. We mobilize out of uh, Lado. We're able to move most of the materials out of Panama and Newcastle to Nigeria. I practically, with the best teams that I have, were able to move to the, to the field, and we execute that job in a matter of time. My core value really is, is to be able to like assist the government in every aspect to see how we can develop, uh, how we can work with them in partnership to develop a local content whereby in my calculation really, when you use the word core values, I mean I'm thinking that in the next five to ten years to be that we don't have to rely on the international vendors to be able to carry out services locally here in Nigeria. Well, when we started in 2003, we do have a couple of technical partners, people like Oceanarin, we work with Oceanarin. We then also work with companies like Seacon, where we call it work with Ocean Flow. These are some of the guys that we've worked with in the past, at the beginning of our business. But as of today, we really do not need any technical partnership. What we need as of today, most of these foreign companies, we use them as subcontractors because we've been able to like understand how this thing works. We have the template of how to like mobilize, demobilize. So for you to mobilize, you have to have your equipment ready to go to site. So for you to demobilize from the work means that you have installed and commissioned before demobilizing. So we have reached a point in this business where some of us local business, we have an ISO 901, we have ISO 1401 in the area of subsea engineering, intervention and installation given to us by BV. BV is not a Nigerian company, it's a company that well known, they work out of the UK. They're just like what you have here in Nigeria, like the sun, the people, I mean the sun that we have here in Nigeria. It's the international version that we have as a company and that has actually kind of enabled us to be able to undertake most of jobs in the deep water, in the subsea sector. Sometime in 2009, we actually uh, we entered a partnership with a company, organization called Underwater Technology. They, uh, they work out of Aberdeen. We came together as a group. We were able to agree to set up a school here in Nigeria. As we speak today, the school is up and running. We're in partnership with Yaba College of Technology, where we'll be rolling out subsea engineers in the area of diving, seabed survey, ROV work. So. Basically, we, we are helping to train people. And apart from the fact that we're working in that school, that we're, we're trying to use the school to like develop local guys. I mean, we are equally like within the company as well. We're training people, trying to bring them up. Everybody will train. We have a program where we train people to become a leader in this company. The way I see everybody that works for me, I see each and every one of them as a CEO, a potential CEO. That's what I see in them. If you don't have that, if I can't see that in anybody, person will never even come close to my working place. So my mission is not just only to make money, also to develop young Nigerians. As of today, I think we've trained close to over 400. Like what I do really, 
I, my business is not really with Nigerian Port Authority because bulk of my jobs is either I'm in Onne, all right, paying Intel, all right, or I'm in Lagos paying never the care that I mean to put my vessel. I mean, or most time when I want to mobilize, I mobilize from places like Lador, I mean, base. I mean, so uh, I really don't have much to do with MPA to start with, really, because most time, except when, when we're importing, when we're bringing our vessel, when we're paying our duty, there's a column there where you need to also pay MPA some fees, which we've been doing. The really area that's of uh, our primary area and the people we deal with from day to day is the NEMASA and is the Local Content Commission. Let me commend the government with the policy that they have put in place. Without this policy that they have put in place to protect the local players, I guess we'll be far, 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 far behind. But with this policy that uh, was signed into law sometime in 2012, that is helping most of these IOCs to listing. We are equally also looking forward to the PIB bill to see how that can actually enhance all the local players where we'll be able to like uh, do more and where we'll be able to build capacity, where we'll be able to also build something that is bankable. Because at the moment, it's a little bit, we're not there yet. And I believe with the new government in place now, then I'll use this medium to like make them to come to the rescue of so many companies. A lot of people have invested trying to like believe in the local content that was signed into law. But as of today, majority of them, they have assets, including me, assets that is tied down there at the dock. Meanwhile, they still have some foreign vessels that they are engaging. I think that is a work for the master to deal with. It's a work for the local content uh, to deal with. And it's also a work, I mean, it's a job that NAPIMS have to, like, deal with. It's equally something that the group managing director needs to quickly, like, uh, group managing director of NMPC, they need to step into that. They need to put people who can actually protect these laws that they have put in place. A lot of their people, they are not doing that. Majority of them are taking side with the IOCs to defranchise the local companies. And this is something that they have to quickly step in and stop. Because some of us, we are from Niger Delta, we believe in peace. We want to make sure that we look for a way to, to generate jobs for our cousins and our brothers who are there within the river Ram area. But somehow, there is a disconnect somewhere that they need to quickly fix, because that will help other companies to grow. Because a lot of companies, local guys, they go around, go put some certain documents together, they don't have a vessel. Somebody have a vessel on ground here, you will now be asking the person to bid with somebody, a portfolio company that doesn't, even have, a, that doesn't have a vessel. These other guys, they have invested so much of their money they have invested their time. And at the end of the day, some people in the government's position, because of they want to benefit themselves, they are undermining the laws of the land. So it's left for the government to look into that and look for a way to make sure that those bad eggs, they, they filter them out so that the, the industry can grow. We want bad egg among 20, 50 people in a building. It's very, very hard for that organization, be it government or a private owned, to survive. So the government needs to really like take their time, look through most of these guys that they have in areas like the local content about. They also need to look into NAPIMS, the kind of people that they have there. They need to look for people of integrity, people who can uphold the law. These are the kind of characters that we need in those places. And it would be nice if the government really look into that area and quickly do something about it. We take those people that just pass out from school 
and train them. Unlike other companies that will tell you, bring 10 years experience. Where will you get the experience? Well, well, and that's our package for the day. Thanks for staying with us. And as always, sincere gratitude to our sponsors for your continued interest and support. And just in case you missed out on this broadcast, you can as well join us on www.eomcoms.com. In the meantime, on behalf of the rest of the production team, remember, we are champs. Same time, same channel next week. I am Elkana Oganovo Mowari. Do join us. My name is Ayotunde Ogubono. Chidima Kalu. Evans Mowari. Adome Esther. John Ativier. Fumilaya Tim Tokwe Adebanjo. Emodi Nora. Omai Benigbe Omai. Ethel Okpala. God's gift Ochije. Jennifer Chiakwa. Ikonistan, and you're watching the EOM Business Network. Network.